The true India is to be found not in its few cities but in 700,000 villages. This was wisely said by Gandhi ji. The gap between rich and poor continues to grow wide. Issue of poverty, undernourishment and unemployment are yet to be addressed comprehensively. About 30% families still remain below poverty line. On this background, Desh Bandhu and Manju Gupta Foundation launched a district development initiative on 1st November 2010 as called Change India Program. Operational in Dhule district, the program aims at poverty alleviation and empowerment of rural community through socio-economic upgradation. We in Desh Bandhu and Manju Gupta Foundation with rural people have embarked upon a journey to revitalize, revamp and recreate life in Dhule. Whenever it rained, it drained away. Check dams, group wells are built to augment water recharge. Now, irrigation is available to 8,154 acres of land. In this time, it has been a lot of benefit. It was our first time. There was a lot of water in one motor. There were three motors in that time. There was no water 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 in that time. Water for farming in summer and even in winter is possible due to use of drip irrigation. पहले हमारे पानी के कम तरता थी, अभी खेती कम पड़ रही, पानी फूल है हमारे खेती में. Construction of group wells is done together by small farmers. The water in it is shared equitably. Majority of the workforce in villages is involved in agriculture. Farmers training, support of agricultural inputs and demonstrations are done for enhancing the yield. System of rice intensification technology has made rice cultivation economical. Four thousand sixty acres of land is under this scheme. Diversification of crops is practiced here. Tomato, chili, brinjal, capsicum, okra, coriander are produced on ten thousand one hundred and seventy acres of land, benefiting to twenty thousand three hundred and thirty six families. Horticultural activities also include fruit farming of mango, acid lime and bear. It was a rare sight before, but today we can see marigold flowers on 536 acres of land. Sixteen hundred acres of land on slopes and hills is levelled.
the assistance of Nabard, 88 farmers clubs and one farmer producers company has been formed. Financial aids are extended to farmers to buy advanced seeds and equipments. कागदपत्र वगैरे केले आणि सहा लोकांनी विहीर खोदली विहीर खोदली पाणी लागलं पाणी लागल्यावर नंतर पाईपलाईन केली पाईपलाईन केली आणि सगळ्यांच्या शेतामध्ये जो पहिला जो पीक येत नव्हता तो आता येत आहेत गहू कांदे किंवा हरभरा मसूर हे सगळ्यांचं शेतात येत आहे आणि त्यात कोथमार वगैरे काही करतायत मग जे पहिले येत नव्हतं ते पहिले जे होते ते भुसार खेती होती आता जे जे पैसे येतात पैशांची जी खेती आहे ते करतात कांदा वगैरे त्यात आम्हाला फायदा झाला शेड नेट फार्मिंग हॅज अमिलिओरेटेड ॲग्रिकल्चर इयर इव्हन फर्दर Animal husbandry is an ideal agro-allied activity and so Desh Bandhu and Manju Gupta Foundation boosted its development. Focused interventions are being carried out for dairy, poultry and goat rearing. Livestock of superior breed is reared here. Murrah buffaloes and goats of Osmanabad breed are induced on a large scale. More than 10,000 litres of milk is collected daily through established milk collection centres at interior area. Many villages are taking shape of dairy resource villages. Biogas plants are set up and fodder crops are cultivated on 609 acres of land to produce more nutritive fodder. Livestock insurance and training on livestock management is provided. Many vaccination camps are also held. Unemployment comes in the way of eradicating poverty. To avoid this, 25 employment-oriented skills are taught to willing youngsters in this area. 52% of 8,137 trained people are self-employed and about 13% were placed. I was a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a या संस्थेकडून मोबाईल दुरुस्तीचं मी प्रशिक्षण घेतलं त्यांच्याकडून त्यांच्या व्यवसाय प्रशिक्षण घेऊन मी लगेच व्यवसायासाठी त्यांच्याकडूनच कर्ज उपलब्ध करून घेतलं आणि लगेच मी तो व्यवसाय सुरू केला विलेजर्स कॅन बी सेल्फ एम्प्लॉईड बाय स्टार्टिंग मायक्रो एंटरप्राइजेस थ्रू ऑन्टरप्रिनॉरशिप डेव्हलपमेंट प्रोग्राम अँड मायक्रो फायनान्स सपोर्ट सो फार फोर थाउजंड टू हंड्रेड अँड फिफ्टी नाईन फॅमिलीज आर सेल्फ एम्प्लॉईड अंडर दिस इनिशिएटिव्ह The true stakeholders of this program, the villagers, are socially marginalized. Women empowerment, health and education have been our focus for social development. Advancement of women's overall economic status is given importance. Desh Bandhu Mandu Gupta Foundation Yanni Marga Darshan Kela Nantar Ata Ami Haan Vyosai Chalu Kela Hai Bhat Kaad Nia Chalu Kela Hai Chakki Ghet Li Ani Ata To Vyosai Chalu Kela Hai Capacity Building of Women Self-Help Groups Are Being Done Through Training and Exposure Visits One of these groups has bought a crane and tanker to start their small business Some group members earn a lot of money through quilt making As a result 3,287 women started their income generation activities. In rural areas, we see hospitals without doctors, chemists without medicines, and thus patients are left without treatment. To conquer this situation, many surgeries and health checkup camps are held by the foundation. Mobile Medical Diagnostic Unit 
with instruments like X-ray machines, ECG machines and blood lab has been established, providing health services at doorstep in remote areas. Under the education sector, we have targeted to develop 56 tribal ashram schools in the district in terms of infrastructure and quality of education. Ashram schools are supported in many ways such as e-learning systems, science lab, sports kits and remedial classes that have made education exciting for students. All this has led us on the path of creating a sustainable, replicable and ever-evolving model. We like to see light in the life of impoverished rural people. We like to see smiles on the faces of the poorest of the poor. Thus, Desh Bandhu and Manju Gupta Foundation will continue working on this path to free the rural people from the clutches of poverty, to accelerate their development, to enlighten their lives and, above all, to make them happy.